Good morning. This is Steve Caddick, and I'm going to show you how I do frets, how I install frets on a banjo neck, and we're going to get started with what tools I use. So let's start over here. We need uh, a couple of pairs of nippers, sometimes of this type. I've got two, um, two different tools here. You can see that I've got a groove set in, and that's for the fret. And this one is a little different setup, and this is for getting the fret started into the fingerboard. To prepare the fret, I have this little, this little hand vise, and um, it's just a little machinist hand vise. And I, you know, of course, you'll need some fret wire. And um, over here, I have. Uh, an arbor press with that tool in it with the groove on the bottom for the um, the face side of the fret for, for when I press them into the neck. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do frets my way. All right, first thing is I'll take a pair of, of vernier calipers and mine has a dial that works out in thousands but I'm not going by precise measurements today. What I do is I come down, as you can see, I've already got some of the frets into this neck. So what I want to do is measure this distance. And I want to add a little over an eighth of an inch of length on it. And I'll explain that as we go. So there it is for this fret length. I'm going to lock that in. And we're going to put some fret wire right in here into this little vise. Lock that in, and take the calipers and a little file, and here's what I do. I don't know if you can get over my shoulder with this. So I put one end of the caliper right on the end of the fret, and I put my little file right on the other end here. I let go, and I make a little mock. Can you see that mock? So now... What I do is I'll take my little Dremel cutoff tool, that's a little cutoff wheel, turn that on, cut the fret to my mark, turn that off, and I'll show you what else I do. Because this neck has bindings on the sides, these pieces here, these are bindings. I can't have the uh, the fret tang. The fret tang is this little piece here that comes down below the fret. That's what actually goes into the fingerboard. I can't have the ends of these tangs here. So I have to relieve that. I have to cut them back on both sides. Now there are tools for doing that, but I don't like this. When you when you put this in here, it tends to bend the wire just a little bit, and I don't like bent wire, so I have a, a workaround for that. So I'm going to come over here. Can you get a little close-up of just this edge of the tool? Milled into this vise is the shape of the top side of the fret. I turn it upside down, and I slide it in. I leave a little bit sticking out. Tighten it in. Now I've got something to hold it. And now if you can come kind of close right here. I'm going to relieve that fret tang. So you can see that I've, I've uh, ground away some of the edge of that fret. So now I'm going to turn it over. and do the same thing on the other side. And now this fret, come on over here. I'm gonna lay this here so you can see how I've relieved the ends of the fret, the tang of the fret, so that it'll sit into the slot but still cover the bindings, the sides of the binding. So now how do we get it in there? 
that's what this little tool is for. If you if you can zoom in right on that little edge right there, there's a, a little ground in thing with two cover plates. And what happens is I slide that fret in, tang out, and I leave just a little bit overhanging so I can see where I am. And this holds that fret for me, so it gives me something to hold on to. And now what I'm going to do is use this little tool. It's a little pick. It's a fret cleaning tool. I just like to make sure that the fret slots are nice and clean. I just because I don't want any debris in there. All right, so now I'm going to line this up. I got to do it this way. And just a slight overhang. Can you come around this end for a second and so you can see how I've got that little tiny bit of an overhang right here? It's just a little past the binding, and that's what I want. So now I'm going to slide this over. Now I hold this down firmly in the slot and I give it a wrap. What that does is that seats the, the fret partially. I'll slide that off the fret. Now if you can get a little angle, you can see that the fret is not all the way in, but it's perfectly vertical and it's perfectly in position. Now all I need to do is press it in on the arbor press. And I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll bring it over to the arbor press. I have this call. Uh, it's for holding necks. It's specifically made for holding a neck. And it cradles just like that. And all i got to do is just line that up. This tool here, come here a second, is identical to this one. See the groove on the top? That's where the fret, top of the fret goes. And that'll push that fret right down into the slot. So that's what this is. It's the same tool. This is an arbor press. So what I do is I just get that lined up and I just get it so that I know I'm seated on top of the fret. And then if you look up here, I give this handle a good yank. And that pushes that fret down into the slot. I like to rock it just slightly. Give it another, another good tug. And let's go into the light. And you can see that that fret is, is perfectly flat against the fingerboard. Now the next step is I'll take my nippers and that little overhang, I'm going to just clip that flush on both sides. Now once I've got all of the frets in, I take this special fret file, see how it's at a, spe a, at a very spe special angle. This part rides on the fingerboard and this part of the file rides against the edges of those frets. And what you do is you take a little time and you file on those frets. Now it takes a little while to get that done, but what that does, it gives me a little bevel on the fret side and then I take this other little file, which is a um, it's a for doing the fret ends and what that means is I just want to round over the edges of those frets and once I've done all of that on all of them the fret job is done and so ta-da that's how you put frets into a banjo neck the Steve Caddick way I hope you enjoyed this video talk to you soon bye-bye